Howdy hey, folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. Today we have a massive NASCAR diecast haul full of brand new diecasts. This is probably going to be a record for the channel for the most brand new diecast. I mean, look at this freaking box. It's got some heft to it and it is fully loaded. Let's go ahead and jump right to the unboxing. What's up everyone? So I got the box in the studio. I'll be showing that in a moment. It's actually going to take up the entire studio. So we're going to have to change a few things to be able to get this video filmed. Got my coffee on deck. I am ready for this freaking massive unboxing video and I'll go ahead and show it real quick. As you can see here guys, the whole studio is pretty much taken. So I'm going to change things a little bit. Clamp to the background if you're wondering. They actually hold up the white vinyl or whatever you want to call it for the studio setup. Anyways, uh, I'm going to try to use a wide lens to get this film I'm, I'm not kidding when this box is literally filled to the brim and uh, we're gonna go ahead and transition to the unboxing all right the behemoth the giant box of boxness so I got my crusty little exacto joint we're gonna open this up like the whole studio is literally taken if I didn't have a wide lens on my camera there's there's not a snowball's chance for me to be able to film this and Get this die cast like nuclear mega haul one of the biggest on the channel in history and it's, it's definitely a record for new die casts uh, try to get that last minute tape there we go all righty see I, I can't even get the box flaps open because the freaking light up at the top is that close to it that's uh, literally you can see the shadows from it uh, there we go Go ahead and get that out of the way and it is loaded i'll bring the camera up real quick and as you can see i mean it's literally freaking loaded guys this thing it's got boxes inside boxes this is gonna be fun and of course we're gonna kick it off with another kentucky speedway koozie from our good friends at circle b diecast everything you see in this box today i literally got from circle b Holy cow, they had some amazing deals over there on some new diecasts. Want to get your hands on some of these diecasts? Make sure you use promo code DIECASTBUFFET at checkout, and you can save on shipping. We're going to kick this diecast uh, unboxing nuclear megla, uh, mega haul underway with a Chase Elliott Hooters 2024 diecast here. That is freaking awesome. Our first 2024 Chase Elliott diecast, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, apparently, Hooters already left Hendrick Motorsports, but from what I could see from this diecast, it is absolutely fantastic. There's silver, there's glitter, there's freaking matte black. I mean, this is a very, very sharp looking diecast. Everything in this box is going to be reviewed on the channel. It's going to be a load of fun. And speaking of Metallic and Chase Elliott, holy cow, look at this. This is the universe, universe, uh, 40th anniversary Martinsville car, and yes, they did do the metallic candy apple red, my favorite color. Oh my goodness, that's going to be a fun diecast review right there. Look, there was a lot of cars I was late on, okay? I, I haven't done a diecast review on them, and guess what? You know what? We went ahead and ordered everything. Everything that was pretty much in stock at Circle B that I haven't reviewed, I said, screw it. Swipe the check, let's do it. And look at this. Brand new late model die cast. This is a 2023 Dale Earnhardt Jr. Bass Pro Tracker Boats late model. And that orange is bright. Holy cow, that is a beautiful looking die cast here. I love these late models. They are literally some of the coolest things in the world, bro. Like, I love making late model die casts. They're cool. Like, you make a custom one like this, put whatever paint you know code you want on it. It's so much fun. Love them late model die casts. And uh, I actually bought two of them because <laughs> I needed another donor. These things literally, uh, the donor prices haven't dropped on them yet. So you got to use the, the brand new stuff at MSRP price pretty much. But hey, they're awesome. We'll be doing a die cast review on one of those. So stay tuned for that, fellas. This is going to be a long unboxing. So I'm, I, I'm not even kidding. It's probably going to be like an hour long almost or half an hour. So get your snacks. This is another late model. It might be the most random die cast I have ever seen in die cast history. What in the world is this? This is a, according to the tag here, it says, it's a 2023 Amber Lynn, I'm not even going to pronounce the last name because I'll probably butcher it, so forgive me for that, but it's an Amber Lynn Racing Camaro, 
and uh, it's the whole car has no Hoosier logo, so it has just a standard uh, black wheels, which looks pretty sleek. And it has a very peculiar door number, because <laughs> it's not on the door. I don't think you can see it. Hold on. My lighting is goofy right now. Uh, it's actually on the quarter panel, and uh, this die cast has a very nice matte finish to it. It's a very obscure-looking light model, but again, it, it's so cool to see some of these paint schemes that never had the... They didn't have a snowball's chance in you-know-what of ever getting made, and actually seeing these die casts get made is so exciting as a collector myself. This one right here, oh, this is going to be a fun die cast review. Uh, I cannot wait for the comment section on this one. <laughs> 2024 Haley Deegan Airbox Ford Mustang. Now, look, I'm going to shoot you straight on this. This die cast is absolutely fantastic. Look how cool the paint scheme is. You got a foil number. I do see a little bit of an error right here. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Anyways, the foil was kind of like peeled up, so it might have been placed on top of a paint chip touch up. Uh, that's what I'm assuming. Uh, but you get the full number. You have the white wheels. It's a Ford Mustang. We don't get a whole bunch of those. And it's an Xfinity diecast. And I think it's the first ever NASCAR Xfinity car to be made with the number 15 in, in the you know in the Xfinity series in a long time. So that's kind of a unique number, if you will. And uh, for your stop motion fans, that is going to be very, very cool. Let's go ahead and keep digging here in the box. The next one, this, I haven't done a die cast review on this. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. This is a 2023 Josh Berry Bass Pro Tracker Boat Chevrolet Camaro. You said, I said, you know what? Circle B's got a sale on these. Why not? You know, uh, awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome stuff. If you have missed out on any 2023 die casts, check out circle b guys they're always having great deals and stuff here is a 2023 sam mayer hux market chevrolet camaro i think he's still running this paint scheme in 2024 at least, at least i know the sponsor is still in the car i don't know if it's the same paint scheme but uh, regardless two very nice jrm die casts in the studio and this one is a 2024 oh boy it's sammy smith with the pilot flying j Chevrolet Camaro. Let me tell you, his paint scheme that he ran a couple times in the spring and early, or I say spring, but you know, like April, May, whatever. Uh, it had the iced coffee paint scheme. It was so cool, dude. That was literally one of my favorite uh, paint schemes of the year. Currently, it's on pre-orders. I have no idea if it's going to get made. So if it does, that's great. Um, I would love to do a die cast review on it, but I'm a huge coffee fan. I really, I love coffee, so... Every time I saw that car on track at, like, Richmond or something, I'm like, dude, that's freaking dope. Here's another 2024 car. It's going to be Justin Allgaier in the branded Chevrolet Camaro, a very iconic paint scheme. I think every year he's been in the Xfinity series, his primary car got made, I, I think. I could be mistaken on that one. Um, very, very cool, oh, cool looking paint scheme. You got literally corn on the side of the car. That's pretty neat. Uh, Justin Allgaier. Very iconic paint scheme. You know, like how Kyle Larson is always the HendrickCars.com paint scheme. I feel like Justin Allgaier and Brandit is the same way. They've, they've literally been in the Xfinity Series for like a decade, or at least Cup Series and Xfinity Series. Yes, he did run Cup Cars uh, back in the mid-2010s. This I can't even believe I didn't do a die-cast review on this one yet, but we, we have it. <laughs> so get ready for a buttload of Xfinity reviews. 2020, 20, 2023, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Helmets Chevrolet Camaro. He ran this at the Bristol Night Race. Nearly won the thing. Literally was so fast. And had a oopsie do with the car. And here's another Justin Allgaier paint scheme. The 2023 branded 75th anniversary. It was 70th anniversary, not 75th. Uh, the branded Chevrolet Camaro. This thing has day glow. It's got silver. What a beautiful, beautiful look at paint scheme here, guys. Fantastic stuff. Love to see that. All right, so that box is done. There's literally, like, there's there's tiny boxes inside the box is what I'm meaning. So uh, we're going to go ahead and keep digging. Like, literally, I've done some, like, unbelievable die cast hauls in the channel. This is going to be up there with them because th these are all brand new stuff. Uh, it, 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 it was not cheap. But you know what? I do this stuff for y'all. Love y'all. And uh, we're going to keep digging. I mean, the cars were, some of the stuff was discounts. So that's great. Anyways, uh, we have a 2023 Brandon Jones Menards. I haven't done a die cast review on this. And I feel like I'm going to probably go on a tangent with this die cast review. Because he runs like, a different paint scheme every week. 
And it drives me up the walls that they only make one Menards car a year. Like, if I was a diehard Brandon Jones, Matt Crafton, or Ryan Blaney fan, I would make a custom of every freaking Menards paint scheme. I know the paint they use. I literally, I've, I've done my research. It's awesome. I love that paint. I would have a paint scheme for every single different hood sponsor, and I'd put it in my collection, but I'm not a diehard Brandon Jones guy. Uh, this is another 2024 Sammy Smith, the TMC Chevrolet Camaro. I believe the gold on this car is uh, metallic printed, or at least has a little bit of sparkle, sparkle. We'll check it out a little bit closer to the diecast review, which is why you should subscribe if you haven't. You know, make sure to tell the YouTube algorithm you enjoy this content by giving it a thumbs up. Helps me out. Helps me to grow this channel. And the more this channel grows, guys, the more diecasts we can review, the more new stuff we can review. That's the beauty of it. This right here is one of my all-time favorite race twin cars I have ever seen. Holy cow. 2023 Chris Busher Daytona race twin. I was shocked. I was over there at Circle B. Now, this car has foil number. It's a race twin. It came out recently new. This thing usually is like $12, maybe $11, give or take, because the foil numbers, you know, cost more naturally. I think it was like 8 bucks or 9 bucks. Could not believe it. Could not believe a diecast that recently released. For those who don't know, 2023 race wins get released the next year most of the time. I couldn't believe it. I'm telling you, man. Fantastic stuff. And this is another diecast I was very eager to review. It does have a little bit of an oopsie do on the side, though. This is Denny Hamlin's Pocono race win from 2023. You can see the side panel here. That decal is all kinds of screwed up. I would say I would use this as a donor car, but the problem is the windows already have that print. I know how to remove it, but it didn't, then it won't have any of the bars or anything on it. Anyways, uh, the Pocono Race Twin, that is so cool. I feel like that's going to be a rare Hamlin car. Maybe, maybe, who knows? <laughs> maybe not, but uh, that's very, very neat. And another die cast out of the box. This is a, this one's really a forgotten Race Twin from last year. Chris Busher's Richmond win. Uh, Y'all know how I feel about Richmond. I'm not a fan of that place anymore, but uh, <laughs> it's cool to see diecast getting made uh, for all these different racetracks, man. And it, it, I feel like people should kind of take a step back and kind of appreciate how many raced wins we're getting nowadays because this is very similar to 2007 where they made just about everything, except this has been going on for like two to three years now. Since the dawn of the next-gen era in 2022, I, I have lost count how many raced wins have been made. So when you think about the Winter Circle line and all the, the Gold Series raced wins, enjoy it because the future might not have these and we're gonna we'll be missing out very much on this era. This is the first 2024 truck die cast to be released. It is Matt Mills number 42 JF Electric Silverado. Holy cow, this is an awesome die cast. I like the box artwork I, I didn't touch on this yet the box artwork in my opinion is better for 2024 i mean look at it you have a little bit more color a little bit more detail I, I like it i wish there was even more color because when you look at the 2023s it feels feels so gray and bland and they've done the gray boxes so much the past decade I am a huge fan of color. I still think the, what is it, 2021 boxes were really, really cool. I wish they would uh, do more of those. Anyways, we're going to keep digging here in the box. The 09 style boxes are the best, though, in my opinion. I haven't done a die cast review on this, surprisingly, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do that one as well. 2023 William Byron Exalta Chevrolet Camaro Darlington Raced Win. Uh, Darlington Throwback Paint Scheme, right? You got all the confetti and all kinds of cool stuff on it. What an awesome die cast. Now, I will say, though, the paint code for this, I think, is incorrect. I've done some research on it. This just looks like a normal, like, I don't know, what do you call it? It's like a maroon, dark maroon. Real car had a paint from DuPont called Chrome Illusion. And I've done research on it, and it's, it's, it's a pretty cool uh, paint. It changes with light and stuff. I don't think they put that on there because it's expensive. Uh, but it does bug me that that appears to not be the correct paint code. Now, this is another forgotten win from last year in 2023. 
Ross Chastain's 2023 Worldwide Express Nashville raced win. And since this was the Ally 400, the confetti has a little bit of purple on it, which is really, really cool. Of course, Logano won this race in 2024. That diecast should get made as well. Uh, but what a fantastic uh, looking diecast here, guys. This one was what one of them out of left field. I I, I didn't even I, I don't even, I don't even know how to describe. This was a cool diecast here. It is a 1993 Dale Earnhardt Charlotte 30th uh, win anniversary 164 scale diecast. Now, this is one of these cars you could have swore already was released in the early 2010s when Lionel kind of came through and uh, started making a lot of the classic stuff. But regardless, this is awesome. This is an awesome paint scheme. I love retro raced wins. There's a gajillion of them that never got made. So it, it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. They could just keep uh, making them. I mean, think of how many Jimmy Johnson, Tony Stewart, whatever Jeff Gordon wins from the 2000s alone that never had a 164 scale raced win. So my point is there's plenty for him to choose from. This one I actually had to wait on for a while. I didn't want to, but I had to. It was sold out. Uh, apparently Circle B got more in stock. The 2023 North Wilkesboro All-Star raced win for Kyle Larson. Already done a review on the truck. I was going to order this with that truck to do the diecast uh, haul and whatnot months ago. It was sold out. Well, sure enough, Circle B had it. Eight bucks a pop. They must have bought some uh, some merch. I uh, got more in, and I said, you know what? <laughs> Go for it. This is a very, very cool paint scheme. And, and again, this is a chrome number diecast here. I think it was like 8 or $9. Usually these are like 12 or 13 So getting these on a deal is amazing. That's why their Black Friday sale is the most popular diecast sale in the entire uh, diecast universe. This is Christopher Bell's 2023 DeWalt Power Stack Bristol Raced Win. What is so cool about this diecast is there's actual dirt pixels. I'll try to zoom in here. On the, the window print itself, it's a little dark uh, with the light kind of bugging me, but there's dirt that's printed on the window, which is so cool. This was, as of right now, in 2024, this was the final uh, dirt Bristol race, uh, final dirt cup race. I imagine in the future they'll go back to it. They, I think they invested too much money into it for them not to, in terms of the technology to actually run the cars here. But anyways, um, that was so cool. I love that race. I miss uh, Cup Series running on dirt. I think it belongs in the Cup Series. Maybe they should go to a, a real dirt track, though, so it's not as uh, logistically... Uh, crazy. This one was one of the upset wins of 2023 and uh, very, very welcomed end to a chapter potentially at Indianapolis. Michael McDowell's Indy Road Course Raced Win Diecast. Now, this is Horizon Hobbies, I think, is their um, the, the, the paint scheme, the sponsor. I've actually bought and paint from these people, so that's really cool to be able to support a sponsor that's in NASCAR. Uh, Horizon Hobby Indy Road Course win Ford Mustang. So glad to see the Oval come back to Indy. I mean, Indianapolis is not Indianapolis unless they're running on the Oval. Even the Indy cars, in my opinion, are the same way. When they run the road course there, it puts me to sleep. I'm sorry, it just does. Gotta run the Oval, guys. And seeing NASCAR finally come back to that is fantastic. All right, so that's two boxes down. We're gonna go ahead and look, I mean, look how many cases are in this freaking box. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous, guys. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, we're making a mess with the, the packet, Pete. That's, that's always fun. All right, it's time for some more brand new die cast in the studio. This is a 2023 Ryan Blaney Advanced Auto Parts Ford Mustang. Believe it or not, I have not done a die cast review on this. So uh, we, 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 we've been lacking on the 2023s so we're going to get caught up on that and we're also getting uh, kicked off uh with the 2024s as you can see in this die cast hall this paint scheme actually won i think it was martinsville but this is the clean version of it ryan blaney's discount tire ford mustang i will say the wheel color irks me because i know what color the wheels are supposed to look like uh, I, I like to use this comparison the end of my exacto uh, knife and you can see that chrome that kind of shine right there that's how the Penske chrome aluminum style wheels are supposed to look not concrete cinder block gray um, if I was a diehard Blaney fan I would change them out and it would look a hundred times better but that's besides the point uh, we're gonna keep digging here got packing peanuts let me clear them out of the way I haven't done a die cast haul like this I feel like in a while 
But, I mean, this is all brand new stuff. We've done some amazing holes. We've been so blessed. But I think this is a record for brand new uh, die kits. This is one of the most anticipated paint schemes of all time in NASCAR die cast history. The, the amount of hype that we saw for the Talladega Knights cars. Uh, from Chase Briscoe, the Old Spice Ford. And, uh, well, you know the next one. <laughs> this is such a cool paint scheme, bro. Old Spice, I mean, for one, that's childhood, right? Uh, all the people who, who grew up watching the early days of Stuart Haas racing, you would know uh, what I'm talking about. Tony Stewart, the Old Spice Chevy. I, I tell you what, my favorite paint scheme in NASCAR history easily is Tony Stewart's 2009 Old Spice Swagger paint scheme. Coolest paint scheme ever. This one I didn't even do a die cast review on because it was the chrome numbers. I waited on it, got a great deal. And this is the Fast and All Ford Mustang for Chris Busher. All the Roush cars have uh, foil numbers, so they're a little bit more, a little bit higher, unfortunately. And uh, you know what? You got to do what you got to do, right? So we're going to go ahead and keep digging here in the parcel. Oh, look at that. Another Chris Busher. Holy cow, the Castrol Edge Ford Mustang. This one went to Victory Lane at, you guessed it, Michigan, I believe. So, what a cool look at diecast right there. I mean, the, the studio was filling up full of diecast here, guys. This is insanity, yo. I mean, we've done a lot of diecast all. This is, this is a megalodon. Uh, we got another awesome paint scheme. Now, I've done multiple reviews on the raced win versions of this. But I have not done the clean version of it. This is the standard Martin Truex Jr. Bass Pro Shops Club uh, Toyota Camry. Let me tell you, his 23 and 24 Bass Pro cars are arguably some of the greatest Bass Pro paint schemes in history. Don't even debate me on that. They're that cool looking. This one right here is the Wabash Ford Mustang for Ryan Blaney. Again, it's got the goofy uh, cinder block concrete gray wheels. Uh, but anyway, he's got the 2023 Mustang there. Very, very sharp. And this is the standard version of the 5th 3rd Bank Ford. Uh, he won Daytona with the, obviously, the raced version, wherever it's at. I think it's buried around here. Oh, no, it's right there. I, I'm blind. Uh, so you have the, the, the Coke 400 raced version, and you have the clean version. So that'll be a fun diecast review to do. And that's another. And, well, on to the next one. See what's in this. Now, I haven't done a die cast review on this one, and the reason why is because I personally think this paint scheme is uglier than Biff, but you know what I said? We're trying to get caught up on the 2023s. You know, I feel bad that they, they even put this paint scheme on the track. I mean, they've they've had some amazing McDonald's paint schemes. I mean, heck, look at the car they're running at the Chicago Street Course. It's got, like, anime on it. That's freaking dope. I don't know why the heck they even put this on the racetrack, but hey... You know what? I feel for the Bubba fans because that paint scheme ran a lot in 2023. That paint scheme looked like poop to me. Anyways, uh, I got Joey Logano Auto Trader Ford Mustang. A very, uh, well, I, I wouldn't say classic, but it's definitely becoming iconic. The Auto Trader blue and orange. They've been around the sport, I think, since 2017 or 2016. This one right here is one of the more random, obscure Truex diecast ever made. It is the Ducks Unlimited Martin Truex Jr. paint scheme. I don't know how I feel about it, but I said, you know what? We're doing 2023 cars. We're going to get caught up on that. So why not? This one, I, I I can't even believe I haven't done a diecast review on it either. It is the 2023 William Byron Exalta Clean paint scheme. Just the clean version. Haven't done a diecast review on that. I haven't done a review on this either. The 23 Harrison Burton Ford Mustang. Now, apparently, the 2024 edition of this car is not going to get made in the Gold Series. I imagine it's going to be made in the Authentics line. The only question, is it going to be on the PTC mold slash J mold? Uh, will it be on the PTC slash J mold? Or will it be on the EL mold, which all these cars in this haul are made on the EL mold? This is another diecast I have not reviewed yet. It is the Joey Logano uh, 2023 Shell Pennzoil Ford Mustang. I mean, we literally got so much cars in this freaking box. It's insanity, yo. We got a 2024 here, guys. Raptor Chevy Camaro for William Byron. I believe he's already won a race or two in this. I think he won Coda in this. I could be mistaken. Anyways, go ahead to the next one. And another Byron paint scheme. This is the ZHP Chevrolet Camaro. Very, very cool stuff indeed. That is an awesome die cast.
All right, so we're going to keep digging here in the box. Uh, let's see what the next die cast. Oh, boy, check this out. The second part of that Stuart Haas Racing two-pack set. Uh, I could have got the two-box set, but it wasn't on sale. These were like, I think, eight bucks a pop. Again, these are recently released die cast, and they were that cheap insane stuff brother and these are the plastic ones the plastic chassis i love the plastic chassis the most uh but yet that is so cool you got the wonder car <laughs> i wonder what we'll be doing with that die cast we'll be doing a die cast review very soon i tell you what that's an awesome piece uh the ryan priest joint now, I noticed Tyler Reddick's been getting some Jordan brand cars made, so I decided to go ahead and hop on board the train and pick up another Jordan brand diecast. I actually have not reviewed Kurt Busch's raced win from Kansas from 2022. If I can find that diecast, I gotta do a diecast review on it. Regardless, we have a 2024 William Byron Liberty University Chevrolet Camaro. I wish the lighting would be a little bit better, uh, but let's see, if we try to do that, well then I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to this is the conundrum we have the light is right here but the box flap like like what do you do <laughs> I can't access the box with it so I'm trying to not have a giant shadow let me tell you I got an idea let me move this like that and then I can just do this that'd be better this car actually won Kansas last year. This is not the raced version of it, but it is the clean version of the paint scheme. It's the Money Lion Toyota Camry for Tyler Reddick. Uh, this does have the chrome or foil number. Amazing die cast. Love this piece. I feel like the Money Lion cars were kind of getting stale, and this one is definitely an upgrade in terms of design. So that box is now finished. Let's go ahead and grab the next uh, box within the box, because why not? Oh, there goes the pack of peanuts. That's always fun. And our next die cast out of the studio. For you Kevin Harvick fans, you're going to enjoy this one here. This is the official Kevin Harvick Bush Light Peach Ford Mustang. Uh, speaking of Mr. Kevin Harvick, this ran, I believe, at the Bristol Dirt Race. This is the uh, Kevin Harvick Bush Light Dirt Ford Mustang. It says "Break for Bush." You got the little uh, little scrub joint there. Got a bunch of dirt and uh, bubbles and stuff. It's a uh, very a uh, very clean die cast, pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> we got another Kevin Harvick here. Now, this paint scheme, I was not going to get originally. But again, I said, we're going to be doing die-cast reviews. And we're going to get caught up on the 2023s. <sighs> One of my least favorite paint schemes of all time, unfortunately, rears its ugly head. It is the Hunt Brothers Pizza 2023 Ford Mustang. This may or may not become a donor down the road, but who knows. I'm so excited for the new uh, die-cast molds, the, the Toyota Camrys, the Ford Mustangs for 2024. Another Kevin Harvick die-cast we have not done a review on. This is a very forgotten piece. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this one. I believe it ran at the Spring Martinsville race. Could be mistaken. The Realtree Hunt Brothers Pizza camo black Ford Mustang for Kevin Harvick. Another one of those alternate paint schemes. You know, Harvick kind of had a, a 2017 Dale Earnhardt Jr. retirement tour where he just had so many random paint schemes for, for merchandise purposes. I, I feel bad for the diehard Kevin Harvick collectors because there, there are so many, you know, paint schemes you pretty much have to pick up. And uh, this one here is one of the most anticipated diecast for me at least. 2024 Kyle Larson Primary. Now, they did have the, some of the 2024 Hendrick Motorsports Primary paint schemes in the early uh, release. This came out around Speed Weeks to uh, Las Vegas in February in terms of the calendar. Anyways, they were in the generic Lionel box. They were not the uh, the 2024 boxes, but it was the 2024 diecast. I did not get the early run of those cars. I decided to wait because I want to be able to have the official box with it. Uh, fantastic stuff right there. The Ky uh, Kyle Larson HendrickCars.com paint scheme. You know, it's funny. I see some people, they say, well, the paint scheme's boring. They runs it every week. I say that's exactly how paint schemes used to be in NASCAR. Every single week, you sell Tony Stewart with a Home Depot car. Every single week, Interstate Batteries, Bobby Labonte, Jeff Gordon, DuPont. That's how NASCAR was. And Kyle Larson running the same paint scheme every week gives it kind of an iconic vibe. It's 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 a little bit of a throwback of throwbacks. And speaking of Kevin, uh, not Kevin Hart, but Kyle Larson, the Valvoline Chevrolet Camaro, 
This is an awesome piece. He won uh, Sonoma, I believe, in this paint scheme. Um, it's not the best Valvoline car in the world, but you know what? I'll take it. Uh, awesome stuff right there. Another diecast we could review. We're actually running out of room in the studio. That's how large this diecast hall is. I told you, get to your snacks because uh, th this is a Megalodon diecast hall. Uh, you Kyle Busch fans, we haven't forgotten about y'all. This is a playoff car. Uh, this is the Casey's Chevrolet Camaro. I think it's a, a pizza or something on the side of the car. It's a playoff piece from the round of 16. I can't remember where this raced at. Uh, they changed the playoff uh, schedule so much, it, it really kind of jumbles it up. Now New Hampshire apparently is going back in the playoffs for 2025. So uh, I... <laughs> I lose track of what races are in what round. This is such a cool Brad K die cast. The Fast and All number 6 Ford Mustang for Brad Kozolowski. This is a really cool piece because you have the 2023 Chris Buescher uh, version of it. So you have the blue and then you kind of have the gray. You know what it reminds me of? The Detroit Lions home and away uniforms. That's what it reminds me of. And yes, I'm a big football fan. And it does have that chrome foil number. You could see that right there. Very, very sharp. Love how the RFK stuff, they, they, they kind of have their own team branding now. All their cars have the foil number. Very cool paint schemes. I love to see what Brad Kay's doing over there at Roush. And uh, speaking of Brad Kay, got another one here. The Castrol Edge Ford Mustang. We already showed the, uh, the, the, the Chris Buescher version of this car. In fact, here it is right here. Brad K and Chris Busher, both of these cars with the chrome number, and they have kind of a matte satin finish. Very, very sharp looking stuff right there, guys. Go ahead and keep digging here in the box. <laughs> Again, another Brad K. I told you we were slacking on the 2023s. This is the Brad K Kings Hawaiian Rolls Ford Mustang. What an awesome paint scheme, guys. Love to see that. Uh, there has been so many great Kings Hawaiian paint schemes for Brad K. Uh, the, I think they had like two movie-themed paint schemes from it as well. This is a forgotten car that Kyle Busch ran. I, I, I imagine a lot of Kyle Busch fans already forgot he ran this. This is the World X Wallet Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, I don't even remember where he ran this, but this is one of the coolest paint schemes of 2023. Uh, you have this amazing like geometric pattern that just goes across the entire die cast, a satin uh, matte finish to it. And the gold decals on here, they are actual, like, I believe metallic foil, or at least have some sparkle to it. This is a very detailed die cast. Cannot wait to do a review on that, fellas. That's going to be a good one. And another Brad K. Ford. This ran at the Coca-Cola 600. And here it is, the Castrol Edge Patriotic Ford Mustang. Very, very sharp looking car. Got the gold numbers. Oh, that's so awesome, man. I got the patriotic tires as well. Fantastic stuff, fellas. All right, so we are almost done with the die cast haul here. We have this one last case to open up here. And uh, as we look into the actual box itself, you can see there is a crap load of packing peanuts. So I'm going to move the roof flaps of the box. Yes, I said roof flaps because I'm a stock car fan. And we're going to put the box there. And then we're going to open it up and see what is inside of said box. Alrighty, here we go. Another 2024 paint scheme. It is Mr. Alex Bowman. This was a part of that elite, or not elite, but the early run of the Hendrick Motorsports paint schemes. A lot of Chevy cars have been released for 2024 because the Ford and the Toyota molds are being updated. They should be coming out sometimes during the summer. But regardless, I wanted to wait until the official 2024 one came out instead of uh, getting the early run of it with the goofy generic box. I really like the 2024 boxes. I think they look a lot better than 2023 because I'm so used to the dark gray and white lettering. It's just I need a little color to the boxes. I wish they would have just took the paint scheme wrap and put it on the, you know, the, you know, the box. I've been saying that for years now. They don't ever, do, they'll never do it. But it would look really, really cool and make a lot of people happy. This is another Alex Bowman car. Uh, this is from 2023, and oh, this is such a cool paint scheme. I think it ran at Homestead. This is officially the uh, number 48 Ally Coker's Garage Chevrolet Camaro. It's definitely a got a. a a Miami Vice, a little bit of a GTA 6 style to it. Oh my goodness, can't wait for that game. I uh, need to hurry up and release it, but uh, you have the pastel colors, the purple, the teals, the pink, very Miami Vice, very retro. Love that paint scheme. Like, 
Ally paint schemes finally are good again. They were so crappy, in my opinion, in 2022, uh, the primary card that was. And in 2023, I was just... It, it was I, but it could have been better. I don't know why, but I think 2024 is a lot better for in terms of an Ally paint scheme, and I really like that... Uh, that uh, I think it's the Homestead car. And his Nashville paint scheme... Oh, I think that's... Um, I think that one's going to get made. I hope it is. Anyway, he's got another Ally, uh, Ally Alex Bowman car. This is the ninth version of the 2023 primary. I'll be honest with you. I really don't like this paint scheme too much. <laughs> I mean, when you look at the paint scheme, I mean, you got so much going on here. You have just this random blur graphics, pink lettering, blue numbers, white lettering... There's a lot going on. I mean, just, just look at these two paint schemes here. Which one of these look better? This one looks so much better. Even the 2024 primary. So, uh, yeah, you could you could see kind of why I, I was a little bit more apprehensive of picking up that paint scheme uh, originally. But you know what? We're trying to get caught up. This one's, in my opinion, might be even a little bit worse. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. I've seen a gajillion patriotic paint schemes. I don't know why this one just, just doesn't sit well with me. Uh, the Ally patriotic car for the 2023 coca-cola 600 i just feel like it's so basic i mean look at the brad k car gold numbers dark blue dark crimson red something about this paint scheme just it just lacks a little bit in my opinion but that's just my honest opinion maybe after doing a die cast review i'll have a better uh idea or an opinion of it this one's a fantastic car ty gibbs interstate batteries uh black Toyota Camry. This is the alternate version of the Interstate Batteries car. I believe this ran at Texas. I could be mistaken in the fall. Uh, obviously, he wasn't a part of the playoffs, but what a beautiful, beautiful looking Interstate Batteries car. I wish Kyle Busch would have ran uh, an Interstate Batteries paint scheme like this uh, with the dark green and the gray and the black. Just, it reminds me kind of of his 2020 Texas car that he won in, the Skittle Zombies car, which is, I saw that car, car person. That was really cool. <laughs> Anyways, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Uh, we keep digging here in the box. I have not done a die cast review on this, surprisingly. This is, if, if I butcher the name, forgive me. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen, Onyx number 91 Chevrolet Camaro, the F1 driver. He ran this... I want to see a Coda. Could be mistaken. It's a fantastic looking paint scheme. And it's got the foil chrome numbers. Oh my goodness. What an awesome looking die cast. One of the best looking paint schemes out there. I'm telling you, Trackhouse. Nobody can touch Trackhouse in terms of paint schemes. They 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 just they understand how to make great looking paint schemes. Like Hendrick Motorsports, Stuart Haas Racing, they'll miss sometimes. But Trackhouse almost never, and I mean never, misses with paint schemes. Here's another Trackhouse car. Uh, the 2023 Moose Chevrolet Camaro for Mr. Ross Chastain. I still don't understand what the Biff BFBeamoose.org is, but we're going to roll with it. That's just an inside joke on the channel. Uh, we're going to keep digging. Oh, dude, this is awesome. Check this out. 2024 Bush Light Chastain. Ross freaking Chastain. Bush like Camaro. Oh my goodness, is that beautiful. So the car is painted white, but it has this very light blue, kind of a transparent uh, wilderness background around it. You kind of have the white uh, mountains there. Giving me a little bit of the, uh, the uh, what's his face? The Husky Chocolate car that ran an Indy car that won the Indy 500. I forget his name right now. Uh, anyways, it reminds me of that paint scheme a little bit. A little bit of um, uh, number 40 Ganassi Coors Light vibes. Very, very sharp looking car. Oh, look at that. Another Ross Chastain. The Advent Health 2022. No, wait. Oh, that's it. Oopsie do. Okay, so this is a 2023 car, but the of uh, the box art says 2022. So that's an oopsie do. Anyways, that's a 23 car. You can tell it's 23 because it has the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo. That's a foil number die cast. And now we have the 2024 edition of the Ross Chastain BeAMoose.org Chevrolet Camaro. Oh my goodness, man. We have so much content on the channel. It, this is like ludicrous. This is insane, brother. There is so much crap to film. We're, we are literally loaded on content right now. 2023 Austin Cendric Discount Tire. What a awesome look at diecast. 
Uh, we'll be checking that one out. Wish the wheels were better on it. And finally, the final die cast. It, it kind of fitting. It's a final ride, if you will. <sighs> Kevin Harvick's final ride paint scheme. The Harvick Bush Beer Ford Mustang returns. Uh, this is officially called the Bushlight Harvick uh, Ford Mustang. That'd have been funny if they would actually release some uh, some beer cans that just said Harvick on it during the you know the last week of the year. That'd have been kind of funny. That'd be a really cool collectible to have someday. It was the the freaking Kevin Harvick Bushlight paint schemes are just like oh my goodness, they they're, they're just amazing. Silver with that light blue transparent background, just fan freaking tastic stuff. Love that. Uh, but yeah, you have your 2023 Harvick, you know, bush light paint scheme, and you have your 2024. Fantastic stuff. Let's go ahead and recap one of the biggest die cast hauls ever in channel history. Alrighty, folks, check out this die cast haul recap. I mean, look how many die casts are in this studio. I mean, it's like three rows deep almost. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely insanity. All brand new die cast, 2023, 2024, maybe a, a couple classics, uh, I say couple, maybe just one. But regardless, I mean, I think it's like 58 die casts or something, I don't even know. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching the video, I hope you're having a blessed one. I just want y'all to know that the reason I'm able to get die casts like this, guys, is because of y'all's support, y'all watching the videos, y'all using the promo code at Circle B. This allows me to be able to get die casts like this. We got so many, I mean so many freaking die cast reviews coming soon on the channel. We are loaded. I mean, look at this. This is insanity, yo. And the new die cast molds, the Fords, the Toyota Camrys, they'll be coming out soon. Don't know exactly when. Most likely, probably late summer i'm guessing who knows maybe we'll get it early maybe not who knows wink wink <laughs> uh whatever those roll out uh, there's gonna be a buttload of new paint schemes for all the drivers right now it's mostly just the the chevrolet cats for 2024 the the, the track houses and the, the hendrick motorsports but once the new molds come out there'll be a buttload more 2024s on the market thank y'all for watching have a blessed one and again thank y'all again for all the support for this channel 5500 subscribers amazing amazing stuff been doing this channel since 2018 august 2018 i think it's when we started it and uh, never would have ever could imagine having this many uh people watching videos so thankful for it and to all those cats who use the promo code this, this, this is kind of my way of giving back to y'all. We'll be able to have a whole bunch of great die cast reviews. I'll be doing um, these. I'll be trying to film all these in 4K as well. I'm going to try to. It's a pain in the butt with file sizes and stuff. Uh, but that's why we got this new studio set up. I've been trying to film things in 4K to be able to have better uh, preservation of the die casts. You know, years and years from now when you watch these videos... I want to be able to look back at this stuff and be like, oh, it's in 4K. It's, it's you know, high quality stuff. I, I've, been, I've been using a, a crappy camera for so many years on the channel and now having a great camera. Just so thankful for that. And uh, this could be a lot of fun. Thank you all for watching. Have a blessed one, everybody. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.